Virginia Burr Cosmetics. Um, I think these have been out for quite a while now, like, I'm not too sure how long, like six, seven months, maybe a bit more. And maybe people have done reviews on these, but I kind of noticed them in Superdrug, so I picked them up because they were in the 342 offer. And um, yes, yeah, so I kind of picked them up because I saw them in the offer and I really wanted to test them out because I know that she's obviously a YouTuber and a blogger, so I just thought give them a go to see how um, well I do with them. And honestly, guys, I the only okay, I'm gonna start off with the negatives. The only negative thing I would say about this, these palettes are the packaging. I don't actually like the packaging and I hate saying that but I love the design of the packaging but um, that I love it really really defines Tanya Burr as well as herself. She loves all the stars and the writing or everything and especially the names. I love the names of the actual eyeshadows and the actual blushes. I really really love this one is called Tanya Burr Cosmetics and it's called Rosy Blush Cheek Palette. I just think that sounds so great so I love that and I love the design of the packaging and the colour the subtle pinks with the pop of pink at the top and I just love it's got her picture at the back and it also just has information about it and also tips on how to apply the products which I think is so great um, and it's got like this little thing that sticks out at, um, on the edge um, of the packaging and then you open it so quite easy to see this is what I mean about it the packaging is really maybe it's just my one but as soon as I opened it these actual um, the blushes and the bronzers actually fell out so that's the only thing about it it's a very um, kind of um, cardboardy um, cheap packaging I, I just think it's the packaging is not great but the actual product I think you can tell that the, the money's gone on the actual product because that and it comes with this mirror inside which is great but these actual things when you're using them could when you open them, especially if you're traveling they could actually pop out that's the only negative thing I would say about the packaging but I love the design and everything but I think because it's kind of like cardboard and you get scratches on it and everything some of the ones I found this is probably the nicest ones in the store that I actually found that weren't kind of marked with like little scratches on them some of them have like you know little scratches on them so like so yeah so the only thing I would say um, that is negative about this is the packaging so um, it's a bit cardboardy and not great um, they kind of like I'm worried that with me constantly using this and my makeup like getting out getting out it's going to get scratches all over it and then also um, the edges are going to get all scuffed up because it's the cardboard but I don't really mind because the actual pr um, product the actual eyeshadows are actually very very nice quality really thought out products um, so hats off to her for doing that because the quality of the um, I'll talk about the eye palette first this is called the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Fairy Tale eye palette and I love the design of it it's got like these little love hearts on it um, so cute and the colours are just great it's just the cardboard that's all that I would say that is negative about the actual product is it's a bit flimsy and um, with fall the products could fall out and actually break that's the only thing that I don't like about it but um, if you're not too worried about that and you're going to take care of it um, then it's fine um, but the actual products I really really could not believe the quality of the products um, Okay, so this is called the fairy tale eye palette when you open it up it's got this little love heart mirror in it it's got this little love heart mirror which i thought was so cute and just love the color of the actual packaging i think it's very very unique unique packaging and then you get these four colors in this one and i love 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 the names that she's given them so this one could be just used as a kind of an all over color um, and it's called cream tea and the next color is um, and it's all and the, the design on um, the actual eyeshadow is little love hearts which I thought was so cute it's really thought out designs um, this one is the brownie kind of light brownie color is called velvet cushion and um, this one here which is the darker kind of more metallic -y kind of um, grayish kind of color is called um, Aloha Mora, Aloha Mora, I think I got that right, Aloha Mora, and then the black one which I thought was so great to have in a palette is called Witch's Cat and I thought that could be great for eyebrows, just filling in your eyebrows or even using as a shadow under your um, waterline. I just thought that's a great combination of colours to have, they are so colours that I would use. 
um, individually and the, I just it's just the packaging I just really hate that they had this film over the top to kind of protect the eyeshadows but I mean it could, these eyeshadows could just easily fall out um, I've tested out the other eye palette more than this one but I just want to swatch these for you because I just the other one was great so I just want to swatch these for you and they're so the texture of these are great they're not too thick they're not they're just so great they're like this creamy powdery and they blend in so well they just blend completely they, they just blend away so well I think with some products some eyeshadows what happens is if they're really pigmented then you have to take your time to really blend them out with these they're just really easy to blend and they're the perfect amount of pigment if that makes sense all of them they're a perfect amount of pigment so they're not too pigmented and they're not um, they're not too pigmented but they're just the right amount of pigment I just think that's how much I would want to use so and you can really build up that color if you want more and they just feel so finely powdered it just feels like a really really fine creamy powder to have on your eye eyelids so the quality of these are amazing um, I'll just watch this one for you which is the Alohomora Alohomora it's just so pigmented it's such a beautiful colour and they look like they've got a speckle of um, um, kind of like a shimmer in them but when you swatch them and you put them on there's really there's really not and they're just so beautiful such a beautiful colour to have um, um, if you're going for that and then honestly when you smudge it out it's just you could even use that on the bottom um, they just blend away so beautifully. I don't know if you guys have had the same kind of experience. Please leave it in the comments below because I just thought they blended so well. Um, and the one on the end, the black, is a really nice matte colour. So it would go great on your brows. And I think she's even done um, showing you guys how she uses them. And she, I think she, Tanya Burr, even uses this one to... Um, um, fill in her brows as well so I think that is just great it's a, a great selection of colours and the pigments are actually great quality um, great pigments as well you get that really nice subtle colour that you want not too much and it's not too little it's just the perfect amount I think she's really really thought out how she wanted the colour the textures everything the formula of these are really good quality the only thing that I haven't liked about it is the packaging but not the design of the packaging I really love the design of the packaging it's so cute and unique um, the other eye palette I also picked up in the 342 offer was this one and this is the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Hollywood eye palette which is so nice it's the perfect neutral eye shadow palette you could have again you've got that creamy kind of uh, creamy that nude kind of color that you could wear all over your lids um, which is great and it's just kind of like a neutral kind of beigey kind of colour I suppose and it's so nice it's just a nice nude to have and it's called Nude Delight and one of the, the next one is called Gold Coin how nice is that I love the names of these again it's got the Love Heart um, mirror which is so handy to have in your bag um, it's just the perfect combination of colours these are these are colours that I would definitely definitely use you've got this really nice it's not completely matte but it's just an all over kind of brown colour it's called bookworm and then the one here is called enchantment enchantment I love that name and it's such a nice combination of colours and they honestly they blend and they swatch beautifully as well they're just the perfect um colour combo to have in the selection she's done really well and I just it's the only thing I hate is the packaging it's just really not um, worked for me but you can really get a good quality eyeshadow out of these you know so that's what I love about the eyeshadows they're very unique colours I just want to um, swatch that colour the enchantment one it's such a nice colour. I would so wear that. I mean, I have something similar to that, but I just think I could just wear these for the price. I think they're five ninety nine um for the eyeshadows and six ninety nine for the blush and the bronze. Um, so I think that's a really good price to have for four um, unique, really blendable, really nicely pigmented colours. I would recommend these. They're such a nice colour and that one's called Enchantment and the nude colour is just a nice nude colour to have. I would use all the, all these four colours 
um, in one on one kind of eye. I would use all of them. I would use this as an all over colour, this as kind of my crease, this as an all over, and this maybe in the inner in the outer corners. I would so use all of them. I just think they're so finely powdered, pigmented, such great colours. I'm just gonna swatch golden coin for you. Gold coin. Such a beautiful colour. Wow, I just love these colours and they're, they're they just feel so great as well. They feel lovely. Yeah, they're really lovely colours, and that's the both the eye palettes. Eye palettes. If you're looking for um, the looking into buying the Tanya Burr collection, I would recommend them. Honestly, there's nothing that I would say that you don't get out of this um, palette if you're worried to buy it. So, and if you love Tanya Burr, then I'm sure you're gonna love them anyway. This um, is another one. This is the Rosy Flush Cheek Palette. It's got little stars on it, which I thought were really nice. And you open it up, it's got the big mirror again, and then these. Be careful because the pans can actually fall out when you open it. Just be weary of that. That's the only thing I would say about it. But the actual palette is um, is great. I can't actually bend over to show you the thing, but I will kind of show you. Like it's got little stars and little love hearts on it, which I thought was really cute. And this is kind of um, is this is called oyster shell, and then that one's called pretty peony, and then the one in the end is called beach bronze. So I love beach bronze. I think beach bronze is a great as a bronzer. It just gives you that subtle um, bronze effect. And then you've got rose peony, I think it's called, is it? Pretty peony, pretty peony. These are such great colours. I mean, I don't, I've not seen any other kind of pigments like this. It's so softly textured and just the great kind of... Um, subtle pigments to have so pretty that would easily be I would easily use that as my bronze then that as my blush and that as kind of a highlight I just think they're a great combination of colors the formula the texture of these are so lovely so lightly pigmented it's not too much color you could easily use these every um, every day. It's such a nice blend of colours. I would highly recommend these and I really, really can't wait to start really, really using them on an everyday kind of basis to see how I go with them and see how much they actually sit well. Maybe I could do like a little tutorial on them on how they look on the actual skin um, to see how these um, blend well on my actual skin rather than just um, swatching them. So I just think they're such a beautiful highlight to have. And it's a great pigment. It's so light, lightly, um, that's the blush, but it's such a lovely rosy coloured blush and they're just so creamy in powdered texture, you know, they blend really well and still leave that nice um, sheen to the skin. So I'm really happy with those. I think for money, for the price of them, they are great they are great to have in um if you're looking for that kind of um light formula that light kind of texture and everything i think they're great i also um because i picked up um the three for two offer um, um i also got this little bag which i thought was um, super drug we're giving away this little bag it's the hashtag no filter needed um yeah so i think that's quite kind of cool like just to carry around in your handbag and you get a free bag um makeup bag with in the three for two offer i think you have to, yeah in the three for two offer you get like a little bag and i didn't know that until i got to the counter and then get a little free free bag and it's got like quite a bit of space inside just to carry your essentials so i thought that was kind of cool but I'd mention it because um, if you're looking into getting the 3 for 2 offer, then you do get this bag free. But I'm absolutely loving the Tanya Burr Cosmetics um, colours. They're so lovely and finely pigmented. If you're looking for something like that or looking even to buy it and didn't know whether to buy it or not, these colours are actually um, really, really nice. I will just swatch them on my hands before I go. I, such, I just can't explain the formula of this. It's not anything like you would find on the high street i mean that's the highlight and then that's the bronze in the middle and then that's the rosy pink peony blush that's so beautiful i think they blend so well and they're really creamy on the skin even though they're, they're still powdered but feel really soft so i'm really really enjoying that i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all guys all see you all guys next i can't even get my words out i'll see you all next time thanks for watching bye